I went to see 127 Hours last night, and I came out of the theater. No, not last night, Sunday night. And I came out of the Sunday night. Was it Sunday night? No, it wasn't Sunday night. Jocelyn's in Los Angeles visiting family. I went on Saturday night. And I, uh, I came out of the theater feeling a, a very healthy, genuine sense of well-being, just a high. Like I was, I was high. I felt high, and I felt good, and I felt stronger, and I felt. I felt the shame of letting myself down. I felt the shame of taking things for granted. I felt the contrast between what I saw up on the screen and the vitality of life and how I feel inside. And I was walking around this area of San Jose after the movie and I really was was thinking about how I am internally and how I act and how I feel and how I <clears throat> have this grudge against myself and how that manifests and flourishes and uh, I know there are a lot of people out there that can relate to what that's all about. They go to see 127 hours and there's someone out there that feels just like I did in the theater. It's a wonderful film. It's life affirming. It's beautifully shot and directed by the brilliant Danny Boyle. And the performance by James Franco is just a powerhouse. The man is, is great. He, he It's exquisite. Um, and it made me think. I mean, it just really did what films, what art is supposed to do. It really made me think about life and where I'm at and how I'm thinking and how I'm functioning and how I'm dysfunctioning and, and it, it has that power it really has that power it had that power for me and I think if you let it in it could have that power for you too um, more later I've got somebody calling me Orkin okay